Hello everyone. I decided to make a video to show you my homemade reflow system. It's actually pretty effective and uh, it gets the job done. I uh, figured there's a lot of people out there who can't afford a real reflow system, $800 or more. So I'm going to briefly go over this. I have a griddle for the bottom heat. I took a, a lamp holder which I modified as you can see um, basically it's to hold a heat gun and uh, this is just the, the preheat stage so I'll actually show you later that I have a square pipe or tube rather that I attach to the nozzle of the heat gun which lessens the airflow and directs the heat more better towards the chip um, after the preheat preheat stage I'll uh, come back and show you okay now the bottom heat is up to temperature which actually varies a little using the griddle sometimes I'm at 130 sometimes I'm at 140 it might also have to do with like the ambient room temperature but when I get to this heat I can usually easily peel off the epoxy and I, use, I just use like really dull tweezers and uh, some people like to leave the epoxy on but I like to peel it just because I like to watch the solder balls actually turn silver and the front row will turn silver and um, from just practice uh, I notice that once that happens if I tap the chip then it moves freely so once I see that happen I just basically set my timer to 30 seconds and turn it off and I know I have a proper reflow but right now I'm actually going to show you that I applied flux and I use Kingbow flux and I apply it right after I remove the epoxy okay what I do first is I just take a q-tip and I do, um, dip it in some isopropyl alcohol and I just clean around the chip Make sure no dust or anything gets underneath when I apply the flux. And then take my Kingbow flux, which I put in a, a syringe. And you'll notice it just gets sucked up underneath the chip once you have that bottom heat and I just go all the way around and now I'm gonna set up the um, top heat and I'll be back in a few seconds okay so I set up the top heat um, it's just a square tube that I attach to the nozzle of the heat gun and I adjust it so it's pretty close but not touching maybe about like a half inch over the chip and one thing I forgot to mention was um, when you're using a heat gun even in a setup like this you're gonna get way too much airflow going anywhere so you need to protect your capacitors. What I do is I just take aluminum foil, I fold it like maybe four times, and I just set up like this wall barrier. And you don't want the aluminum foil to actually touch the uh, the caps because aluminum foil does get hot and they will blow up like I've noticed in my experience. So what you do is I use the the bolts going through the griddle and I just like prop the uh, aluminum foil up and if you can see it looks like it's touching that yellow one but it's actually not and what happens is the air just hits it and there's no way it's going to go over so you pretty much protect yourself that way and what I'm going to do now is just start the reflow and I just have it set up where I just turn this on And now I'll just monitor the temperatures and it will go up to, I've noticed in my experience, 
225 to 235 depending on the board and room temperature but since it's hard to judge like I said before I just watched that bottom row and once it all turns a, a bright silver I just set a timer for 30 seconds turn it off and I know I've reached full reflow so I'm gonna do that and um, I'll come back for the test alright so uh, I just turned off the both bottom and top heat. I'm going to try to get a close up of the front row solder ball so you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I'm using my phone. But. It's as good as it's going to get there. But trust me, they're a lot shinier than what we started with. And by the way, this board had a no video problem. It would power on just fine, green lights, but there would just be no video, only sound. And um, as many of you might know, that's one of the early stages of the red ring. So I'm just going to let this cool down, turn on the fan, and um, put it together and test it out. Alright, so it's partially back together and uh, I'm going to take it for a test. Nice. Oh, there you go, guys. Uh, I hope I was somewhat informative and could help some of you that can't really afford a reflow machine. Um, thanks for watching.